uh, Paul Paradigm. Today I'm going to be demonstrating compiling a Fortran program under CPM with Microsoft Fortran 80. I'm not sure exactly the version number of this particular one. Also, um, today I'd like you to note that I'm running this on an Apple II with a Z80 card under emulation using Virtual 2. The other thing that I'd like to note is that um, it's running a bit slow, um, or slower than the real um, Apple IIe that I tried this on earlier. And I'm really just using this um, emulation to make it easier to record the screen rather than sticking a camera in front of a CRT. So throughout the video, I probably will speed it up a little bit um, to make it a bit more bearable. But in the meantime, we'll start at uh, the standard speed and um, you can see how um, quickly CPM runs on an Apple. So let's reboot it. Firstly, let's have a look what's on the disks. Um, on the A drive is the compiler and there's not much to um, Fortran 80, just the compiler itself, a linker and its library. Um, the rel file um, is kind of like an object file. And I've also got um, a Pi S simulator, um, which approximates Pi. I think in this particular version of the source, it does about 10 iterations. Um, we'll change that a little bit later, um, just to show um, editing the source and um, recompiling. On the B drive, um, I've got um, a copy of WordStar 3, I believe. It says WS4, but I think it's version 3. So, let's start by having a, um, a quick look at the source. It's a pretty short, simple program. Um, that does an estimate of pi. So the first thing we need to do is compile it. Now the compiler um, has a few options and in this demo I'm going to be generating um, this, a source listing That's um, and I'm also going to be generating the rel file, the object file uh, from the program called pi.4. So let's do that. Sorry, this keyboard is a little bit awkward. So these um, two parameters just tell us um, to uh, generate those, the listing and the object file. And then I just have to give it the source file. So it doesn't take too long to generate um, the assembler code, um, but the linking is a little bit more prolonged. Uh, so let's start the linker. I'm just going to load um, that object code, the rel file. And it gives you a bit of information about um, that file. And to um, compile it, there's, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can uh, just compile it to memory and then use something like DDT to examine it or save it. But you can also generate um, a com file and the command for that is um, slash NE and that will generate an executable. Now this will take some time. So just bear with me. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, on the real um, Apple IIe with the Z80 card, it's quite a bit faster than this to uh, link this program. So 
So given how small the program is, it does take a long time. So now it's generating the com file. Um, and it's complete. So let's just have a look. Perhaps what I should have done was uh, showed you the output of the compiler first. So let's just quickly have a look at that. So there's um, a listing in the PRN of the output. So as you can see, there's about 1K of output um, in the assembler. So let's run it and see what it does. And as you can see, it's quite slow at approximating pi. And as I said, it's doing about 10 iterations. And each iteration, it seems to get closer to pi. Um, I'm going to now change the um, the emulation to about two times. That's on two times on the Apple side rather than the CPM side. I'm not sure how it converts um, over, but if I run that again, you'll see it's a little faster. And this is a little closer to how it behaves um, on the real Apple with the Z80 card. So I'm just going to leave it at that um, turbo speed and go in uh, to the source code and just make it do a few more iterations so that we get a much better approximation of Pi. So I'm just going to run WordStar good old word style and I do n to open a non-document file and it's on the A drive and there's our source and a page at a time I just need to change the loop here. There it is. If n equals 10, stop. So we're just going to make that 21, which is about as far as you can go with this particular program. sure that that save actually took and it has so let's recompile it if Object and this time it should go much faster. A little bit faster than you would normally see on a CPM machine. Um, there'd be much more disk I/O than this simulated sound of the disk drive, but. And let's run this updated version to see how we go. Um, if 
if you watch, look at the lower bound of pi, you'll see it's becoming more and more accurate as we iterate through that loop. Unfortunately, um, when the uh, program terminates, it uh, clears the screen, but if you want to just go back um, on the video, you can check out that um, value, and it's quite accurate um, at 21 iterations. So that's it, really. Um, I guess it um, would go the same if you're compiling a COBOL 80 program. It's, it'll be much the same, but um, I hope this um, shed some light on how to actually use the F80.